everybody, welcome down to the dugout on the third base side here at McKeon Park. I am joined alongside Coach B.J. Johnson and a bit of a foot from Coach Johnny Davis, a stray foot from the side. That's, that's a fun way to kick off our first coach's report of the season. Coach B.J. Johnson will be joining me on a weekly basis to just chat a little bit of Harbor Hawks and tell me what he's been seeing out of the boys. Well, first, since this is your first coach's report, introduce yourself, Coach B.J. How you doing, Michael? I, I, everything is great. I'm B.J. Johnson. I've been the bench coach for the Harbor Hawks and uh, been doing this, what, like for four years? Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm good. That's great. He, he's, as long as you're good, right? Yeah, I'm good. So this I'm is good. great. So, Coach, you've been, as you said, you've been around. You've been here this season, and you've been here in the past. So we'll start off with the first few things here. We're halfway through the season now. Yesterday was game 22. Today will be game 23. So I just want to know your prerogative on the season so far as we've reached the halfway mark. Well, I think what we have to say about these guys is, I mean, first and foremost, our guys are playing hard. They're playing really, really hard. I think they're exciting in the sense that, uh, you know, we're really in every we're in every game except for two, and we've had a lot of situations where we've just had these really great comebacks. Now, you don't want to play from behind that much, okay? So um, I think really the thing is we're, I think, a really, really good club. I don't think anybody is, is better than us necessarily. But I think we've yet to kind of put together a stretch where we've had superior pitching, superior hitting, and superior defense. It seems like during the course of this first half, it's been we pitch really well except for maybe one guy or two guys. We hit really well for a while. We've had some bad luck, too. We've hit a lot of balls hard at people. Um, but, um, you know, normally that evens out, and maybe it'll even out in the second half. Definitely, I like that prerogative. Yeah. Nice, clean, honest, per nice, clean, honest prerogative. So now you've talked. We've talked about the team. Now let's go into individuals. I'll talk to you on both sides of the ball, okay. pitcher and hitter. We'll go with pitcher first. Who has been a name that's been impressing you the most? Well, I got to tell you this. I've got to do this for my wife. Sure. I mean, and I've got to do it because one of your broadcast par partners is named Mickey, which is the same as my wife. So. Mickey is a Florida State graduate, All okay? Right. So the sad part here is, I mean, I, I've got to go Florida State-wise. So mm -hmm. Cam Smith has been outstanding offensively, and uh, I think he figured it out very quickly up here what he needed to do, and he is obviously right now our most dangerous hitter. I, I did not know where you were going with that one, but you tied that in very, very nicely. And he started the season, first seven games or so, under 200. He's been up close to a 300, 350, 370 hitter ever since. So, of course, there is a grace period with the Wood Bats, but aside from the obvious grace period, what do you think Cam has done to really turn it on? I think he's really shortened up and his swing. He is a very powerful guy. And uh, I think a lot of these guys think that they've got to go ahead and launch things. He just is seeming to find barrel, you know, on ball, and he's hitting a lot of balls hard. You know, obviously he's hit, what, three home runs in the last eight games, nine games. Um, we really wanted to get him going. We put him in the leadoff spot to get him more fastballs. Now I don't think it really matters what you throw him. Yeah, I mean, he's crushing everything, and he's, he's clearly has been our, our best hitter so far for the Harbor Hawks. And now let's go to the other side of the ball. Pitching-wise, you got a, another Florida State candidate if you want to choose him, but let's see, let's see who you go with for who's been impressing you on the pitching side. Well, so I don't get in trouble at home, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with another Florida State. <laughs> okay. I, had, I had a feeling. Uh, you, you probably did. You probably thought that was the plan. But anyway, uh, Jamie Arnold's been outstanding. I mean, look at his strikeouts. Um, against innings pitched. I mean, he's been terrific. He is he is so, so good. And, um, uh, you know, I, this is like – I certainly don't mean to slight anybody else because I'm going to tell you, like, on the hitting side too, I really love Nick. But, you know, why I'm going to do that is because my wife's maiden name was Mitchell. So I'm going to stay again in my lane so I don't get in any trouble at home. But anyway, he's been really, really good. But, I mean, just go back to Jamie. Jamie has been outstanding. I mean, those two guys 
have really, really gotten a lot of mileage out of their out of their part in the Cape so far, and I just hope they keep it up. Absolutely, you're you're really trying to stay in your lane, and I and I love it. Now we are gonna. I, I do want to zoom out a little bit to the pitching staff as a whole because this is something on the broadcast that we have talked about so time and time again about how about how impressive each and every arm has been. Of course, there have been a few a few games, a few arms where there's been a blow up, but of course that's gonna happen. So. In terms of the pitching staff and Coach Eric Beatty being one of the best pitchers in this in the Cape Cod League history, having a great single season, how do you think Coach Beatty has really come in as a pitcher himself in his second season and helped this staff out? Well, I think I mean I think he's done it. You know, he's done it here. He's done it at higher levels, and so um, I think that's really really important. The other thing is Eric Luxus, who's a pitching coach, Ray Corn, who's a pitching coach savant i like to think i know a little bit about it too but um they, i mean these guys are they're really great and i think everybody's been pretty um receptive to um feedback that they've gotten so you know in the cape i i think what you want to do is you want to say i come here with a purpose of doing something that i can do a little bit better whether it's throwing a better change up whether it's throwing sliders better, whatever. And I think we have the talent here that can kind of accentuate that. Um, and I think most of the guys kind of get that message. Yeah, it's so important, especially at this age, to be taking feedback. You're so young. And just to be able to hear it from guys who have done it for so long, especially like Coach Beatty he's been, and Coach Luxus, just who have seen it all, just to be able to take that feedback is so important to up your game. Now, I want to switch topics a little bit. Oh boy. Oh, I, I think we can cut. There's been an elephant in the room that I've kind of been ignoring for the first few questions. It's these are these pants. They're the baseball pants cut into shorts. I need to know the story behind this. Well, it's very fashionable. I mean, what we what we what we're doing is I, I don't know. Does the viewership need to see this? I guess they probably do. I, now now we've got the full picture. Well, the way we, the way we've talked about it is here. We can sit back down, Michael. Yeah. The um, we, um, because we had decided as a group this, that we haven't really put it all together yet, we decided this was our all together look. This is part of it today. Okay. There's going to be another surprise coming later tonight. All right. But, um, uh, and we won't even let you in on it. The players will be there. So our whole thing is let's have everybody concentrate on every pitch, on every at bat, on every defensive play. And this is just kind of the start where we have these coaches in these lovely but tasteful shorts. <laughs> lovely but tasteful. I love it. So this is – so we were talking to hitting coach Drew Earhart earlier. This kind of started pretty impromptu, pretty not much of a plan, but it's to, it's to hopefully snap the guys out because you guys have had a close last few games – but it's they haven't quite gone your way. So I, what I love to see out of this is that despite we're on a bit of a losing streak here, I love to see that you guys are keeping it loose and you guys aren't too concerned about things. How big is that for the for the whole bench vibe to keep things loose like you guys are? Oh, I think you want to do that, Michael. You know, it's um, you know, remember college baseball is a grind. This is a grind. And I think if you really want to have your players enjoy their summer experience, um, I think you don't want to do everything that they do for 9, 10, 11 months out of their year, which is really, really hard. I think sometimes you need to vary it up. And, uh, you know, baseball, the way I always think about it is, you know, it really is a social sport. Um, you want to have um, re great relationships. And if you can get a few laughs along the way, I mean, I think it's great. It, it may snap you out of things. That's so great. And you were and talking, and we saw you once you came off the mound from throwing the BP. You were you were taking a bit of time to earth as well. You were earthing. He is also coach. BJ is also barefoot out here, so he's got the shorts. He's got the he's got the earthing. He's gone barefoot. It's we're really going all out here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You got to do it. I mean, we've got to get a W today. Absolutely, and the W's will be coming for sure. I think you, you're feeling it. You're feeling the connection with the earth. Absolutely, I am. I mean, I've probably got to get back on, on that grass. Well, how long do I have to do that? For 30 minutes or so? I mean, I don't know how long Matt Carpenter did it for last year with the New York Yankees, but something, what he, whatever he was doing, he was doing it right. Okay. Well, I mean, if you give me any feedback, I'm ready to go. I mean, I mean 
it seems like you're doing the correct thing as we've got a few players joining us. How you doing, Elijah Hainline? Going great. I'm just wondering what the shoes offers for. Earthing. He's he's earthing. He's doing his thing. He's getting connected with Earth. We've got the players coming back through the dugout. This is what you get. You're getting the the scoops here on Coach's Report. So uh, if you're going to be getting if you're going to be using the Earth, how are you getting in touch with the Earth here, Elijah? Step on in. Step on in. Um, playing the game and sliding and getting a face full of dirt in my mouth. There we go. Taste tastes earthy, right? That's earth thing is right. So. Well, the, you're in the dugout with that, where there's a lot of spit and seeds and. Hey, we're we're trying to get here too. Hey, we're trying to get in touch with the team as well, and we're trying to carry that good that good energy through. So, just the the last question here, as we're coming through. In a bit of a rough stretch, as we mentioned, the pants are cut. Excuse me, the pants are cut off. We're earthing. What do you want to be seeing out of the offense as well as the pitching? We talked about the good stuff a few minutes ago. Now let's get back to it again in what you want to see going forward for the next few games. Sure. Uh, well, first and foremost, I think we talk about today, and I think we've got a great guy on the mound with Jack O'Connor. Um, I think he gives us a good start. We are loaded in the bullpen, and I think as you've seen most of the times. Our bullpen has been outstanding. They've been shut down. I think we're swinging the bats really, really well. I, I, I would love to see us get a lead today. I don't think it's a necessity because I think we hang in there really, really well and have some great at-bats. But if we can get it today, get a lead, and get, get off on the right foot, I feel really, really good about our chances. And we keep things positive, and there is so much to be positive about here. And, and that is our first coaches report. Thank you so much to Coach BJ for joining me. These will be coming about weekly, bi-weekly now, so be on the lookout for your next coaches report for McKean Park. I'm Michael Kirsting.